Speaker, I would like to yield three minutes to representative, the representative from Pennsylvania. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank my good friend and fellow Rules Committee member, Representative Fishbach, for the time. Quick history lesson. June 2020, Vice President Kamala Harris applauded former LA Mayor Eric Garcia's decision to slash police funding by $150 million. Representative Ocasio-Cortez has stated, and I quote, defunding the police means defunding the police. Exact quote. Representative Cori Bush has said that she would, quote unquote, make sure she has private security for her protection while simultaneously promising to defund the police to protect you. Representative Tlaib has said, and I quote, no more policing, incarceration, and militarization, end quote. Representative Omar has stated, and I quote, not only do we need to defund, we need to dismantle police departments. And what's been the result? What's been the result of these attacks on law enforcement? Well, 2021 was the deadliest year in two decades for our law enforcement officers. 64 officers were shot and killed in the line of duty in 2022. Just to put that in perspective, that's a 40% increase from 2020. At least nine cities, the vast majority of which are Democrat controlled cities, the, these cities saw record homicides last year, skyrocketing crime that continues to plague our communities all across the country. Right here in DC, for example, we're already seeing a 13% rise in violent crime in 2023 compared with 2022 when crime was already at near historic levels. This is because Democrats, Democrats are now trying to deflect responsibility for this rise in crime, but it's their own far left radical policies that are to blame. It's essential that we make, sure, make it clear that Congress, at least this Republican majority, condemns all efforts to dismantle and defund our nation's police officers. For those reasons, I urge my colleagues to support this rule and support the underlying piece of legislation, and I yield back. The gentleman yields.